So I am going to do a little bit of an experiment. I have been showing you my plant starts and um, some of them are big. And these are brassicas, so they like the cold weather. So I'm going to stick them in the ground, I believe. So I'm gonna stick them in the ground and hopefully they do all right. I think they will. If not, I have more in the greenhouse. So, you know, there's always, there's always that. And I'm not gonna be very precise. I'm just gonna put them in and hope that they, hope that they like where I stuck them. So you know it's a good day when your hands are very dirty and I should wear gloves, but I, I don't. Oh well. I'm also drinking iced tea out of a fancy wine glass. <laughs> Cause I'm fancy. Um, so yeah, so I just planted some bok choy, Brussels sprouts, kohlrabi, and romisco broccoli. I think I have some cabbage too that I could probably plant. There. Okay, so the things that don't look very good, I don't know what happened. Um, so my broccoli is looking kind of sad. I don't know if it will make it. It's okay if it doesn't, but you know, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Um, the other thing that does, doesn't look very good are my cabbage that I haven't even planted yet. They're still down here in this tray, but I'm at the point like where I think I might just throw, put it in the dirt in the garden and then call it a day and see what happens because at this point it's just taking up space and I don't know if it's going to work or not. So give it a fighting chance out in the garden where it can get like full sunlight and nutrients from, you know, everything in there. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay, whatever. So I, I suck at cabbage. I already kind of knew that, but you know worth a shot. I'm sorry. I'm still like picking dirt off my hands because it's like, that's some good dirt. It's a very dark. So I guess come with me. We're going to plant some cabbage now. So this is just some real talk. Um, I don't think my cabbage that I've been babying, um, is going to make it. They look very sad. They are leggy. They're losing their color. They're not dried out. They're like they're nice and saturated, so I know they didn't, like they didn't dry out. Um, maybe my greenhouse was too hot for them. Maybe they should have gone in the ground a lot sooner than I just did. But uh, that kind of sucks. But I'm, I'll show you them because some of the plants that I just put in the one bed look beautiful. Um, the cabbage, not so much. They are ugly. <laughs> in little. So that sucks. But we still have a lot of other things that I know I have to plant soon. Plus putting in more beds. I need to put more compost in all of the beds. That has to happen. Maybe I'll get my husband to do that with me. Or uh, my dad who lives across the street said that he was thinking about getting like a big tractor. And then I think I'm just going to get him to like go 
get a big scoop and drop it off here in my yard. All right, quick garden tour. These have gotten way bigger and they look beautiful, but all right. So I just planted beets in this bed here. Radishes here. Uh, I forget. Um, carrots here. There's nothing in this liver, so I should probably figure something that else. Got bok choy, kohlrabi. This is upside down. This is the Romisco broccoli. And over there is Brussels sprouts. And then here is my cabbage, who looks really sad, except for this one right there. Um, not sure if they're gonna come back.